What up, what up? It is BQ. Welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday, meaning it is Impact Wrestling Night tonight. And we already know we're getting the big tag team title match between the North and the Motor City Machine Guns. But they are teasing that we are getting some kind of appearance by EC3 tonight. Now, I don't personally think he's going to be on the actual show or wrestle a match. I mean, I guess anything is possible. I think they're going to keep rolling with this video package thing for a little while. Um, I want to talk about a tweet that EC3 put out several days ago, and people really misinterpreted this. And uh, it's funny, <laughs> some of the websites and some of these um, you know, wrestling fans took it as, oh, EC3 is not really part of Impact. He, he's coming to AEW and he's he's going to New Japan and, and all that. You know, um, some people just don't have a clue. So let's talk about this tweet real quick. I'm going to read it. He says, I have no home. I'm not back. I'm not here for family or friends. In reality, who I am has never been here. Nostalgia and comfort do not interest me. This isn't what you think it is. This is more. Now let's talk about when EC3 debuted in the company. He's one of the few wrestlers in modern wrestling. I guess you want to call it was able to go from one company to another and completely rebrand himself, completely change himself. You know, when he was the EC3 character the first time around, Ethan Carter III, spoiled nephew of Dixie Carter, people weren't like, oh, it's Derek Bateman, it's Derek Bateman. And what I'm talking about is think about when Aaron Rex came over to TNA, he left Impact, tried to rebrand himself, tried to, you know, be a more serious character. And what did the websites call him? What did the journalists call him the youtube channels everything damian sando damian sando like he was never able to rebrand himself and now he uses his real name and that's kind of kind of different but you know he was someone that was able to come over and just start a new life you know he, you read this text and he doesn't want to come it's almost like he wants another crack at at doing that at starting over he doesn't want to come over and be dixie carter's nephew he doesn't want to come over and crack a bunch of jokes wear bright colored trunks, you know, do this with the crowd. That's nostalgia, you know? And, and a further example, I'm gonna give you guys, think about some wrestlers who have recently, I'll say recently, over the last several years, had runs in TNA or Impact Wrestling, went back to WWE, and were the same exact thing that they were when they left. Uh, so example, you know, Bully Ray, Christian Cage, Kurt Angle, uh, John John Hannigan, you know, Johnny Impact. Guys who were a certain character in the WWE years ago came to Impact Wrestling, and the run could have been a couple of years, could have been several years, one year, whatever. And then they go back, and they're, 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 the, they're the same person. There's no, there's no growth. You know what I mean? When a lot of these wrestlers come over to Impact, there was so much growth that they experienced as a person and as a performer. And, and then they go back and they're just expected to be that person. And I don't think that's what EC3 wants. And I don't think it's what we should expect. You know, over these last 90 days, he's really taken the opportunity to improve his brand and um, probably to do a lot of self-reflection. He was probably doing a lot of self-reflection before this 90 days happened. And um, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a different guy. You know, and this should be exciting to you guys. We shouldn't want the uh, the trouble 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 EC3 like I really doubt that's gonna be his music, you know maybe maybe it is for like a couple seconds and then cuts out switches to something different maybe it's even a combination but you know expect a very very different character you know it, it's a darker character it's a tweener character it's a serious character that's why he's saying I'm not I have no home I'm not back that's all of us tweeting like come home come back you know he's like he's like that EC3 is dead. You know, like this, this is just the new guy, the new character, the essential character. He's not here for family or friends. You know, he's not because um, his boy's here. You know, when he says nostalgia and comfort don't interest him, you know, I talked about nostalgia and, you know, comfort something too. He's not saying, I mean, he's saying that, you know, just because I was here once before, that doesn't mean that's why I'm back, you know, because, because uh, WWE failed me or I didn't succeed in WWE. So I'm running back home, uh, you know. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like that uh, that teenager that that leaves home to go branch out on their own. 
you know, move to New York and use Los Angeles and then come back with their tail between their legs. Like he's letting you know, that's not what this is. This isn't what this is about. In reality, who I am has never been here because when he came to TNA the first time, he came with an open mind. They gave him a gimmick and he ran with it, you know? And then when he was, you know, Derek Bateman, all that, he, you know, they gave him a gimmick, gimmick. He ran with that. That obviously didn't succeed. Like now we're getting someone who has, who, who wants to have a little more control creative control more say over his character and what he wants to be like we haven't gotten that genuine ec3 character we've gotten we've gotten the character who uh you know the company and creative have told him he needs to be but he hasn't had a, that opportunity to really be himself you know and um so this is more that's not what it's not what you think it is this is more you know it is it's more <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to beat a dead horse over everything I was saying, but you know, let's, let's expect something uh, new and exciting. Don't expect him, you know, to kind of go back to that old EC3 character because that's, that's just not who he is, what he wants. Um, this is more, this is so much more than that. And um, when it comes to tonight, as I said, I don't really expect him to be there in the arena itself. I think we're going to get the video packages again for a little while. We're probably going to get it at the very end of the show. You know, so we're going to talk about a uh, little more impact wrestling and various uploads on the channel this week. So if it's your first time here, it's the number one place to be for the impact wrestling fan and uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Got a few new content pieces that will be coming. Myself and TW will be doing a new podcast once I get my setup, uh, my new setup going. I have a mobile podcast coming out uh, that's going to be done via GoPro and um exciting things coming so it's, it's the number one place to be we've added a thousand subscribers in the last 30 days uh we've added gosh about four over 400 in just the last couple days alone and uh we're just breaking records on a, on a monthly basis so make sure you get involved here at the lounge and uh let's get uh, excited for ec3 tonight talk to you soon peace